Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Sheep here, back with another video. In today's short episode, I'm going to be showcasing how I press uh, my keybinds to build in 1v1.0. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments and I've gotten a lot of Discord DMs asking me on how I use uh, QXC to build fast 90s or different buildings in 1v1.0. So, today, I have my hand cam right here. Hello, guys. And I am going to show you guys how I press QXC to build 90s in 1v1.lol. Now, before we start, uh, let's talk about my keybinds. So I use Q, X, and C as my building keybinds for wall, uh, floor, and ramp. I usually keep my middle finger on W so I could walk around and I usually put my pinky on shift so I could always press uh, my cone and just edit it whenever I need to like this and I always put my thumb on my space bar to jump so first I press Q with my ring finger like this I can do it fairly easily I sure mo I'm sure most of you guys can do it too I press Q like this and I can and I also put my index on E so that I can edit. And then this is where it gets confusing because I'm sure a lot of people, Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, you guys like to press it with your uh, thumb just for like optimization. I understand because it's technically more optimized to press X and C or V with your thumb than, oh God, I just hit my, okay. It's better to hit X and C and V with your thumb than your index, but I do it with my index. So this is how I do it. So when I have to place my floor and also my ramp, I do it with my index like this. So I kind of do like a sliding motion across X and C like this. So what I basically do is, for example, if, if I build no floor, uh, no wall 90s, I do this as a, I use my index as a sliding motion and build 90s. I have super slow 90s, and you guys may be asking, how do I stretch like to X, C, and V? Well, um, as you guys can see, I have an F12 um, keypad replaced by the V uh, over here because it gives me better uh, optimization to place uh, to press the V key with my thumb if I use this keycap because it's slightly elevated. But for X and C, I don't because I press it with my index. And to press it with an index, I have technically, I guess, more flexible or more long fingers. I don't mean like, I don't, I'm not being rude to like um, people who has uh, technically like shorter or smaller fingers. It's just, um, I train my finger muscles uh, since I was small and I play the piano since I was small. So I definitely can have like stretchier muscles so I can press X and C with my index when some people hurt when they can't. If you're trying out my controls and your finger hurts by pressing index with X and C, do not try it. Just uh, don't because I'm not like... I'm, I don't know if I'm special or not, but a lot of people can do this. But if you hurt doing this, then don't. Just don't, because I don't want to hurt your fingers. But I do this. Uh, I press X and C with my index. And uh, I'm not being rude to all of you guys who have comparatively shorter or comparatively less, less flexible hands. It's just that uh, if you're hurting, just don't do that. So this, uh, in like full motion, this is how I do my 90s. I cannot do 90s today, so, and I'm hitting my uh, uh, cam stand while I do this, because I don't usually use a cam to, I guess it's shaking for you guys, I'm not mongrel, I don't, so this is how basically I do it, so for example like triple edits or quad edits, I do this, and for quad edits, I do this, so I interchange my X and C uh, with my index with my edit button, so I have to be really fast to do it. And I don't, I don't use, um, I don't use uh, edit on release, so it's gonna be a bit harder for me to edit fast. So yep, this is basically how I do my um, 
editing and also building. So hope you guys enjoy this short episode. This is just gonna be a short video on explaining how I do my editing and with hand cam. So um uh hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to leave a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye.